Hello viewer, Eric the Car Guy here. Glad to see you. Welcome to the show. I feel like I should have made this video like eons ago, but I've got something in now that, that seems appropriate that I can do this with. And what I'd like to show you today is how to get codes out of a Honda or Acura vehicle without a scan tool. And this actually works up through a lot more model years than you might think. I know that you could probably do it up through 05 or whatever. Uh, any place you find this little blue connector that I'm about to show you up underneath the dash. You can use a paper clip, a piece of wire, I don't know if a paper clip, like you'd have to use like a really small paper clip or something like that. But a piece of wire or something like that, anything metal to jump this connection that I'm about to show you. But what I have here is, is basically a female connector uh, that, that I got out of a wiring harness from some time ago that all I did was cut off and then I soldered the two wires together into a loop. Uh, so this is, this is my tool that I use for this. And I, I, you know, I've done a slide. So you can make one of these. So maybe when you're at the salvage yard, you find like a Honda with one of these two pin female connectors is what you're gonna need um, of this size. So this, this is precisely what you'll need. You can just cut it, and I just took the wires, routed them together into a loop, because that's really all you're doing, is you're just shorting across the connector. I have next to me a 1999 RL, which is clearly in the OBD2 range, yet I can still pull codes the old way that you've been able to do uh, pretty much uh, since the early 90s. I, I would say like 92 or 93, you've had this option. Before this option, uh, there was normally a flashing red LED on the computer itself that you would use to get these codes. So you wouldn't have to short any of this out. So if you have like a obd -O, um, I think OBD-1 Hondas uh, have this, but if you have like an obd -O Honda, uh, you pretty much follow the exact same procedure except for you've got to find where the computer is. A lot of times it's located up under the passenger footwell, like right down by where your feet are, you peel the carpet back, you might see a little inspection window through there and see a red flashing LED when you turn the key on. Or uh, also on really old ones like the, the original LXIs, things like that. I think those were located under the passenger seat uh, and you can look and sometimes there was like a little plastic inspection window that you had to pop open and you're looking for the flashing LED there. Most of the codes, um, in fact, all of these codes, I'm gonna post over at my website over there at thecarguy.com. So if you type in a search for Honda codes, um, it should come up with a listing for these uh, codes that you know are not OBD2 codes. They're just regular Honda codes. So no scan tool, nothing, paper clip. You don't even need one of these. It's just, just a piece of wire. But I've been talking a long time, so let's uh, crawl under this car and I'll show you what we're up to. Okay, as I said, we have a 1999 Acura RL and it does have a check engine light on. I'll show you that right now. And as you can see, not only do we have the check engine light, we also have the maintenance required light and the ABS light. And here's a little bonus for you. This same thing that I'm showing you now also does ABS codes in addition to the check engine light codes. Okay, here I am on the passenger side of the vehicle, uh, right around the passenger footwell. And don't you just love it when uh, people use their cars as trash receptacles? It just makes things just great. And you wonder where I wear gloves all the time. Anywho, uh, you need to get in this area. I'm going to be flat out honest. I don't know how this works on European vehicles that are right-hand drive. I don't know where they stick these things on those vehicles. But uh, here in the States, that are left-hand drive vehicles. Uh, you're going to find this connector somewhere up underneath the uh, passenger side footwell. There's a couple of different places to look. Uh, some of them you'll find, like up in this area, you, you'll find this connector. And on these in particular, you see this little blue connector thing here? This is what houses what you're looking for. And it, it acts like it's connected. Like it's clipped in, so you just push down on the tab and pull it back, but that's what you're looking for. And on some older legends and things, I've actually seen it like attached to this harness uh, up like this, but this is your connector. It's blue, it's that two pin, and this one's the male version, but this, this is your guy right here. Okay, I just thought of one more um, that might throw you for a loop. The Acura Vigor. Um, actually has this located on the uh, left side of the passenger kick footwell. 
uh, sort of up behind the center console. You sort of sneak up behind that and you'll find this connector there. So uh, just look generally in the passenger area and it's you, you may have to look for your specific vehicle and application, uh, but for the most part, it's passenger footwell, you, you know, just in that general area. So look around for that blue connector is what you're looking for, like this. Now once you've found it, like I said, you can either take a paper clip or something like that and stick it in into these terminals uh, or you can uh, use what I have here which I'm just gonna take my connector push it together like that and it's all looped together and this this will do what I need it to do all right your connectors hooked up uh, now the next step would be is just turn the key to the on position don't turn it to crank just turn it to the on position and then you might want to get a, a pen and paper because you're going to observe the flashes of the check engine light itself. And if you're pulling ABS codes, you observe the flashing of the uh, ABS light. And you're going to see a series of like long pulses mixed with short pulses. The long pulses are always the first number. The short pulses are the second number. And then there's a pause in between. And then you go to another number. Um, I'll show you basically... Uh, what we got. Okay, now I have my connector plugged in. I'm just going to turn the key to the on position. I'm not going to crank it and I'm going to count the flashes. The long flashes are the first number, the short flashes are the second number, and then there'll be a pause and then the next number comes up if there is one. Or it'll just continue to repeat. Actually, it's going to continue to repeat. If there's multiple codes, it'll run through them and then repeat it again afterwards. So it'll just keep repeating the codes over and over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First digit, two, three, four, five, six. Didn't catch that. It'll come around again. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, seven one two three four five six seven eight nine so that was a 79 one two three four five six one two three four five so that's 65 one two three four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that was 79. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, 65. So we have 65 and 79, and it will just keep repeating over and over and over again. So write down the numbers and see what you got. So 65 and 79, off the top of my head, I think 65 has something to do with the oxygen sensor, and 79, I'm not real sure, maybe ignition system. But note over here, uh, the ABS light is also blinking, same thing. Um, just count the blinks. Long blinks are first number. That looks like two, three, four, five. Yeah. It's the exact same thing with the ABS. You, and you write down these codes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 81, so that was 81. So eight long and then one short, that's an 81. So same thing with the ABS as it is with the uh, check engine. SRS is actually a different connector which I didn't see up in there, which you probably have to do with an OBD2, OBD2 scanner, but Hondas, you can pull ABS codes this way, so you don't need a special scanner for ABS. Uh, and once again, I'll post the meanings to these codes uh, on my website at erithcarguide.com so that you can look up your ABS and your check engine light codes um, for your Honda or Acura. Okay, not wanting to lead you astray, 
Um, not all ABS codes will flash the light on a dash. In fact, similar to the OBDO Hondas, where you have a flashing LED on the computer that you're looking for, there's a similar setup on many ABS systems on Hondas and Acuras. Uh, older Accords, older Integras, things like that. There may be a, an inspection window in the back seat area um, that you actually need to, to pop open and look down in there for a flashing LED. So you'll have to look up you know, the, that location on your specific application, um, but for the purposes of this video, generally that is what you're looking for. Now some of you might be saying, hey Eric, you know, you show me how to pull the codes, but what happens once I pull the codes and I'm done fixing it and I want the code to go away? Good question. I'll give you one of two options. Um, first option, and this is valid, but it'll probably erase your radio codes and anything else that, that you have stored in there, and that's just disconnect the negative battery cable for about 10, 15 seconds, reconnect it, and the computer will be reset, and the codes will be gone. Like I said, if you do that, and you have like a Honda with a radio code like this one does, you're gonna lose the memory and all that stuff, so make sure you have that radio code if you're gonna employ this method. Option B on this model is there's a fuse box underneath the driver's side kick panel. You can twist that little thing and remove. embarrass me and the fuse that you're looking for it's labeled on here ACG this ACG fuse um, this is seven and a half amp you pull this fuse and this will wipe the memory out and reset the codes now for ABS it's a little bit different you got to pull one underneath the hood to, to um, get rid of those codes also, you may find on some models a uh, fuse labeled alternator sense. So if you see a fuse marked alternator sense, that's the fuse you pull in order to erase the codes and not have to worry about losing your radio codes. But this ACG, this uh, 7.5 amp, or actually is this, yeah, it's a 7.5 amp um, in slot number 15. Let's see, right next to the 20. So it should be this one right here. There's your fuse. So pull that fuse, that seven and a half right next to that 20, and that will clear the codes for you for the check engine light. Now to clear the ABS codes, you gotta come out to this fuse box under here, and you are looking for ABS2, which there's ABS unit. All right, so this one's gonna make a liar out of me. Um, but uh, I think, on this one, you're gonna be doing this uh, 20 amp ABS right here. That's what it is, so <clears throat> hazards of 10. So this this 20 amp here, because actually it's usually a 15. It might be this 15 is what it might be, because normally that's what it's been in the past. There's, there's normally three fuses, and one of them's labeled ABS2, and that's the one that you would use to, to clear the code. So, uh, if I'm if I'm steering you wrong and your lights still on well then pull the ABS unit uh, fuse or this TCS I actually think it's this TCS fuse that's gonna uh, clear the codes on this one because normally on the older legends it was like right here and ABS 2 was was the fuse to pull so the fuse to pull to clear the ABS codes is ABS 2 okay so the moral of the story is, is that you don't necessarily need expensive scan tools to get the codes now that you have the codes though you need to go about your diagnosis as normal as if you pulled it from an OBD2 whatever uh, and that's not what this video is about this video is basically just about showing you how to retrieve those codes uh, and then like I said head over there at thecarguy.com look up what the meaning of that code is and take it from there uh, we might even have some answers on some of the codes that, that were pulled up because um, these will coincide with OBD2 codes a, as well. Hope this information was useful to you. I am Eric the Car Guy. You can find me at Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, and always at EricTheCarGuy.com. Post a link in the description for that for you. Uh, and I close with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hopefully, hopefully it'll help you in some way. See ya.